So I was just minding my own business for the day, getting ready to do some work, and then Konami was like, hey kids, you want to know what's in Dual Overload? And everybody was like, oh, <laughs> oh man, so if you guys want to market watch at 6am, give me a like on this video, give me some inspiration to produce that content, we can have some fun here. So basically, we are, we're going to go through the video, we're going to... I can't really act surprised about this because this set is basically lining up with the rarity collection from the OCG, but you know what? We we can be excited. So we get the hot six packs, which once again for like thirty bucks, you're gonna be you're gonna get pretty rewarded there. Um, which is alright for the value. Um I also expect a discussion on how insane this set actually is. So, we have Jerome showing off the cards. Now, we've only seen three of these so far. Um, we've seen the Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes, and whatnot. And I actually wish that they would have released these as actual, like, playable cards. And then, they hit us with the Tour Guide. That's right. We're getting the Tour Guide alternate. Stardust Dragon, which looks really good. And then the Infinity, like, the black looks so good. Personally, though, I just once again want to say that if you're going to make these manga cards, you should have made them actual playable cards. And that would have been something really cool. So we've got six of those. Now let's get into the finer details of the set, what we actually care about here. Manga cards are nice, but... So one of the cards set, 30 new Link monsters, two returning Link monsters... Four famous monsters with new art. I wonder who those are going to be. I bet one of them's Kagari. Um, and then movie stuff. This was definitely a cluster of a set. So, oh look, we already know about Sina Mining. I I would be surprised if this isn't uh, going to be super hard to pull. As is with all things. And then they tack on this world premiere um, line here. Which I don't know if you guys are just like, What? But yeah, we are getting world premieres in this set. So, we'll go back. We know about the Yang Zing. Um, or Yang Zing, man. <laughs> uh, it's not even Yang Zing. It's the stupid uh, Tenyi Link. Uh, we're getting the bird in here. We're getting the bird ahead of its support, which is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. The Five-Headed Link Dragon we know about. Um, a lot of this stuff... So here's the problem with this set. This set is going to be very good. It's one of the best sets of all time. But, I'll, let's be honest, your expected value on this is going to be rough. Um, are we really getting six Samurai reprints in here? Oh, man. Or maybe they're just talking about that. Alright, cool. Uh, we get the Link Monster for them, finally. I see we're getting the Dark Lord Link. Herald, and then the little plant link. All right, I mean, I'm indifferent about this. Like, this is all stuff that we know that we've needed for a while. Um, and then we're getting this bad boy right here. I hope that you guys are prepared for the Buster Blader lock, because every single deck is going to be looking to abuse this stupid thing. And hopefully we can push to get this banned soon, because having to sit here... And get Buster Bladed locked every single game is not something that I am looking forward to, like in the very least. Is that a Gizmek and a uh, Madame Very reprint as well? That'd be very nice. Uh, what else we got here? All right, we knew about Neofiber, we knew about the Bujin. Uh, my Anaconda. Oh man, we're getting Anaconda. This card, this card is going to like tip the scales for shit -alls, just because you can put the additional monster on the field now. Like, yeah, Cross Sheep's extender ability is really good, but this card will be money. Like, either this card gets banned, or we actually watch this card ruin Dragoon of the Red format. Um, huh. We're actually getting our little middle cherry print here as well. Alright, well, that's cool. Once again, we've, we've needed that. Uh, what else are we getting in here? Spit out the goods, my guy. Oh, yeah. Gilgamesh is finally in here. Wow, we're about 300 years too late for this. I've already heard that this thing has caused several buyouts. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, stupid DDD monster is always insane value. All right. 
Alternate arts, baby. So it should be Kagari Infinity. The oh man, the tour guide actually looks really good. And the Lavionier. So first up, I want to say thank you, Konami. You've officially killed the value on this thing. We finally will see cheap, affordable reprints for Lavinier. So, if you're one of those players that wanted to pick up Chaos Dragons, or Chaos Dragons Thunder, or something, and you were, like, slightly detoured with this, or you wanted to pick up, you know, the new Rocket deck, Lavinier's, they're not going to amputate your arm anymore. Uh, these should be affordable. The Kagaris, well, I think these look good, personally. I, I love the art, but... I wish I wish we would have gotten this a little bit sooner. Uh, we got Infinity, and we've got Tour Guide from the Underworld. The Tour Guide reprint is pretty alright. Um, I am expecting there to be some solid value in these. Um, at least the Infinity. Uh, the Kagari will probably be extremely cheap. I guess it really depends on how easy and affordable they are to pull. Because Kagari will probably be a dollar. Unless, for some reason, she's insane. Ooh. We're finally getting Enma's Judgment. When your opponent's boss summons a monster, destroy it. And then you can banish uh, five zombie monsters from your graveyard. And if you do, special summon one level, no thank you. That was an old premium pack promo, actually. Uh, about time. Alright, so. We're finally getting the missing Malefic cards. This has been forever since we have gotten these. Alright, like, these came out, what, a year and a half ago? in the OCG, and we just haven't gotten them. So we're finally getting the good parallel gear. We're getting the stupid field spell, finally. And then to all the cubic players out there, congratulations. You're finally getting your much-needed upgrades um, for your stuff. I believe you play literally these? I don't think you play Extension. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, the list I was seeing from a friend of mine didn't really mess around with those all that much. So, Trinity Code releases May 1st. All right. Witchcrafter reprints. That's disgustingly good. All right. Um. Oh man, really? So, Magdalene and Chocolala mode reprints. Um, do we get any more, or is this like it? Maybe, maybe that's it for Madolche. Maybe that's they only felt that they needed to reprint those two. Oh, well, that means and oh, what? That was okay. Cool, looks like we're getting a reprint on the, uh, <laughs> oh man, Cyber Emergency, and Caspar and Starfire. What is this? This set is so bonkers. Like, actually just watch, man, good thing we didn't pick up our Magical Muscle. Alright. This. Shame on you. Shame on you. Man, Imperm? Phantasme. Oh, what? Oh, cool. So, White Mirror got the reprint. We knew about Phantasme. Um, Swap Frog got the reprint as an Ultra. That's going to look nice. Watt Drafts, whatever. Golden Castle of Strongberg is also whatever. I guess that needed the reprint because the Grand Manju players have been playing it recently. So, I, I guess we take that, right? Man, the Swap Frog is going to look so weird. I wish that would have been an alternate art, honestly. Alright, exclusive time. So, Trap Tricks, Ginlesia? I like how, he actually looks like a Neko girl, so unaffected by uh, whole normal trap cards. You can tribute this card to set two normal trap cards with different names, one from your deck and one from your graveyard, but banish them when they leave the field. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it's like a turn two or three card, not really much turn one value, but all right. I guess you could Foolish Barrel off the trap card, summon this, and then do its thing. Like, that'd be really good, actually. Um, are we going to start playing Foolish Barrel Goods in this deck? Like, is that what we're getting? Oh, cool, so they're showing us value for Sarah, of course. All right. Hollow Giants. Activate this card of both players control a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck. Negate the effects of face out of special summon extra deck or monster from the extra deck. Every monster is destroyed by battle involving two monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck. Send this card to the graveyard. Also, the player who controlled this destroyed monster takes a thousand damage. Um, hmm. I mean, the art's cool. Card's kind of meh. Like, I, I guess that's 
All right. Is that all we've got here? I thought we were getting three world exclusive. Okay, Mayakashi Mayhem. All right, hidden. Huh. So if a zombie monster is special summoned, except from the extra deck during the, even during the damage step, you can apply one of the following effects: draw a card, send one Mayakashi spell and trap card directly f or from your deck to the graveyard, send one monster with the lowest attack your opponent controls to the graveyard, or inflict 800 damage to your opponent. What? This card is really good. All right, I like this. This card is actually really good. It says draw a card. Like I'm, I'm down to give this some consideration. Hmm. And then we're getting the new Yuki Ona link. We knew about that. So, uh, I guess that concludes our exploration through this. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot here. Imperm reprint, Phantasme reprint. Yikes. So what do you guys think about all of this? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Man, Konami, you made me very happy this set. Uh, mark a watch at 6 a.m. Uh, if you guys give me some likes on this. Well, guys, I'm out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Banco 40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.